Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, um, we are reacting to History of Japan by uh, Bill Words. I reacted to the History of the World, which, coincidence, is actually right here, uh, a couple days ago. So, I'm uh, now reacting to History of Japan. Um, I like doing these reaction videos, especially these history ones. I've only done reaction to history ones, but I think I have a cool re reaction video I'm going to react to uh, next video, which should come out in like two days, maybe. Some, I don't know. But, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, like, if you enjoy uh, react of me reacting to... Uh, these videos, I can do other stuff too, but these reacting to uh, videos I've been really liking, so let's go. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here. <laughs> yeah, and probably not. And some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees because it's warmer. So now yes. there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees, and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and they have wow. technology from the future, like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Nice. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important, ruled by a heavenly super person, or emperor for short. Oh. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone <laughs> to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about Sunrise Land, said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster know. named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, nice. reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. Uh -oh. So if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich oh God. people hired samurai. Poor oh. people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. Of course. The samurai became organized and powerful. More powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here. They let oh. the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news. Oh. The Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. <laughs> okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. Oh, they tried again, and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Ugh. And the emperor overthrows the shogunate, the and the shogunate not overthrows him back, and moves to Kyoto, and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor side. can still dress like an emperor if he wants, that's fine. That's funny. More art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative oh. poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid, so he tries yeah. to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the Shogun has a kid. Uh -oh. So now who's it going to be? Vote now on your phones. Oh, and yeah. everyone voted so hard that the palace oh, caught on fire and burned down. The Shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country uh. broke into pieces. Everyone is oh, fighting with oh, each oh, other for local oh, oh. power. And it's anybody's game. Knock, knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take oh. over. They just want to censorship. Wait, 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 and clocks. Wait, 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 and guns. Wait, 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 grabs like this area like, what is this weird shape like these are all weird shapes what <laughs> for local power and it's anybody's game knock knock it's europe no they're not here to take over they just want to sell some shit like clocks and guns and jesus <laughs> so that's cool but everyone's still fighting each other for control now with guns hey nice it's to a control sponsor the capital, which right now is puppets nice no sponsor might this clan is ready to make a run for it but first they have to trample this smaller clan which is in the way Oh. Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the leader oh. of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital, and it goes very well. 
He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him, and then someone oh. else who works for him kills them, and that guy <laughs> finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he was old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right, it's not going to be this kid, it's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be oh. way more rich and powerful than the others. <laughs> a lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. Uh -huh. He still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get confused, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict, they close the country. No one can leave, oh. and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit, but they have to do it right here. Now that the uh -huh. entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, and Dutch studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over oh. time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Oh. Knock, knock. <laughs> it's the United States. Uh oh. With huge boats, with guns, gunboats. Gunboats. The country no. stop oh, no. having it be closed, said the United States. There's really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract <laughs> that lets the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. Oh, and wow. Almost very little outside help. I really hate it. Show oh. <laughs> and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new oh. constitution that was pretty Western and a uh -huh. military that was pretty Western. And yeah. do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia yeah. rushes in out of nowhere and oh. says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Wait, Did what? I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. Oh. And Japan says, <laughs> can you maybe chill? And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan's uh -oh. kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Oh no, that's a cliffhanger. Why? Why, 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 why? Who's, who's scared of Russia? We're about to find out. Great Britain. So Japan hey, and Great Britain, make Great an Britain. Together okay. so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, ah. Japan goes to war against Russia, just for a moment, and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War One. Uh -oh. The world is about to have a war, because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy, and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared. Wait, wait, wait. This part of China and lots of tiny islands. Not Guam. Marianas? So then where's Guam? Maybe this used to be, or this is Guam now. They just renamed it. Caroline Marshallans pull out. Okay. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get <laughs> France to kick France's ass because France oh, is God. friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Or oh. actually shot him in the head. <laughs> and Britain is currently friends with someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's <laughs> that's a lot of arrows <laughs> so hold on, let me break this down I know so Germany and friends 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 kind of neutral but joined in Germany invaded Belgium to get past France's defenses they held on the German border uh, UK didn't like that they were invading neutral countries so they declared war on Germany they're trying, they're trying, Germany's trying to, uh, attack France. France was friends with Russia, who is going to go in war with Austria-Hungary. Because Russia and Serbia are friends, and Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia, because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria. Okay. His ass, or actually shot him in the head. And Britain is currently friends with Japan, so you know what that means. Oh. Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway, so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. 
Now the war is over, and congratulations, Japan. You technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You yeah. also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, whose mission statement is to try not to take a... Tibet? Why is Tibet? <laughs> oh, right, Tibet used to be its own little thing. Until the Communist Party showed up. The Pub People's Republic of China showed up and they conquered Tibet. This is the Republic of China, who is now owning Taiwan. Okay. Over the world. The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria. And the League of Nations is like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do? So right now, the, what is it? The Chinese Civil Wars happening but then the communist party and the nationalist party stopped because japan was invading china and the communist party and the nationalist party both wanted all the chinese land so they had to stop japan from conquering conquering it all anyway japan invaded more and more and <laughs> that's more the meme it's, it's the meme anyway, anyway. japan invaded more and more and more and more of china and was planning to invade the entire east you've got mail it's from germany, <laughs> <leader of> germany. <laughs> you've got cool mail mustache, and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends this also got forwarded to italy they all decided to be friends because they had so much in common it's time for world war ii germany all right, the is invading sequel. the neighbors then they invade the neighbors neighbors then the neighbors 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 who happened to be britain said holy shit and the united <laughs> states started helping britain because they are good friends and started not helping japan because they're the more oil are not for you are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also ah. working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger Wait, hold on. The entire ocean. Is that Hawaii? On the far right? Is that Hawaii? Is that why they bombed it? I think that's it. Also, this is huge. Wow. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than any other bomb ever. Just in case. But they still what? haven't joined the war. War looks yeah, bad just on TV, in case. and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then oh. Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. <gasps> oh, God. They actually drop two. Oh. Two. Oh, God. We got two of them. <laughs> you win. Inspired by the United States government. With just the right ingredients for a post war economic miracle. It's like in Fortnite. You hit someone with like a gray pistol. <laughs> and it does like 16 damage. And then the person cranks all the way up to build height. For no reason, just to get high ground. What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, just give up at that point. And Japan starts yeah. making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, just all that for <laughs> as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's uh -huh. still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I guess everything's still pretty cool, I guess. And also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild. And then the miracle wears Mario? off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Hey, Mario. It's -a me, -a Mario. <laughs> oh, that was a good video. All right. Wow. <laughs> Where is it? Like right here. Where is it? Come on. <laughs> you win. Just you win. Just give up at that point. <laughs> you. <laughs> you, just, you win. You win. There's nothing. It's like you get double RPG'd or something. Just you win. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for that video. I really, really enjoyed watching this. I like uh doing these uh type of reaction videos i think they're very fun 
So like if you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you all next upload, which will be a fun video. I think it's you know I'll just, I might as well just tell you it's the history of Minecraft, uh by. Not gonna lie, I don't know who it's from. So wait, let's see it. Let's find it. This one, sip over. Sip over made it. All right, we're gonna react to that next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me reacting to History of Japan, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye!